How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today is going to be a collab video today. It is a St. Patrick's Day collab, which I am Irish, pretty well full-blown Irish, have a lot in me anyway. Um, my main name was Gallagher, so, um, and my dad's name was Patrick, so yeah. Um, can't get any more Irish than that, but there is a lot of Irish in my family, so, um, and I have always, ever since I was little, that I can remember, I've always gotten into um, anything that was Irish. Um, I used to actually have a vase that I was so upset about that broke, and it was made in Ireland, um, and it was a great find. I was all excited. I got it at like one of the flea markets that my mom and I used to go to, and it broke, and I was so upset. <laughs> Um, I like on QVC sometimes I have shopped on there on their uh, Irish day, like the whole day of um, Ireland. And when my husband and I went to Atlantic City the one time in April, it was kind of chilly. I had a really nice wool sweater that I had ordered and I loved it. Um, and I also have a wool blanket that I got my mom for uh, Mother's Day. So, um, but yeah, I really, um, I would so love to go there one day if possible and um, you know visit the beautiful country um, you know just see all the wonder all the glory and, and all the beautiful greenery and everything so that's what my eye speaking of greenery you know like um, green is the main uh, focus on St. Patrick's Day so that's what I did on my eyes um, I ended up using the Kat Von D palette that I have this is the, what is it, Spellbinding Eyeshadow Book. This was from a couple Christmases ago. And I ended up using this book here. And the colors that I really ended up using in the whole book was um, I used Birdcage, which is a lime green almost color. Gunner, which is kind of a um, more uh, evergreen with some glitter, but I didn't have problems with fallout, so and it didn't really get real glittery or anything anyway. Um, I used this color 8-bit, which is almost like a uh, bluish-green color of some sort. Um, Instagram, used in my inner corner, and um, Countess or something like that. It's like a, of a matte uh, peach or beige color or something like that so I, I used that um, and I really was excited because like I love that palette I love Kat Von D and her eyeshadows um, and a lot of her products I, I love I love her blushes and everything so I was excited to use it I never used those greens and I was a little bit nervous but I was actually really happy with the whole turnout so um, yeah I have all the products I'll have them mentioned even at the end there's a video that you'll see me applying the whole look, so we'll get to that. Um, this collab is with a whole bunch of wonderful, beauty, beautiful ladies that I know here on YouTube. Um, some I, I'm not too familiar with, but I am subscribed or I've subscribed to them so that I can see uh, their wonderful looks and check out their channel and everything. Um, but it's makeup fun with Olivia. She contacted me and asked me if I was interested in doing a collab and something to this reference with um, St. Patrick's Day. And I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I haven't done a collab for a while. And it'd be fun to do another look and, you know, come up with something because that's what I really love to do. I, I have fun coming up with whatever, you know, it, it, it's art in its own self. So, yeah, you have fun coming up with different looks. So, um, so yeah, she contacted me and we agreed. Um, I have to give mostly all the credit to her though because she is the one that really organized a lot of this stuff. Um, I know she had my name on there at, at some point to help organize, but really I just got gathered up a couple other beauties and asked them um, if they wanted to join and it just went from there. So I'll have all the links down below to all the beauties, so please go check them out and see the wonderful looks. I cannot wait to see what they came up with too. And um, also show them some love and subscribe, you know, I'm going to check out some channels that maybe I'm not already subscribed to. And so yeah, get ready for the video of me putting all the uh, items on. Um, and then you'll see me at the very end with the wrap up of the whole look and all the other products that I used. So stay tuned. 
Alright beauties, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I already have done my eyebrows, which my eyebrows, I used the Hard Candy, um, what is it, the brow now? I used that. And then um, on my eyes, to prime my eyes and everything, I went ahead with the uh, City Proof 24 Hour NYC Pencil. And it just, it only comes in one color. So I put that, and then over top of it, I went ahead and used um, Mally's uh, base, eyeshadow base. Comes in a lot of her kits, and you can also buy it separately. I put that on top of that. So I have my eyes set, and I'm going to go ahead and get ready to go in a transition color um, just to kind of start start the whole process. And I'm going to go in my It Cosmetics. I use this a lot, I'll be honest. I do really use it a lot, and I think it's just because some of the shades in here just work good for me. I just, it seems like I gravitate to it a lot. So, um, I'm not sure which eyeshadow palette this is, but for my transition color, I'm going to go into this soft brown color right here. And I'm going to go ahead and use one of my Mally brushes, like a double end brush, um, and use that to pack it on and go ahead and set into the transition or in the great near the crease. If I can talk. Don't think I can, can I? Now granted I'm not no, as I always like to say, <laughs> professional and I'm kinda nervous doing this look today because I'm not usually one to be this daring in colors, but for it to be something for St. Pat Patrick's Day, I thought it would look really nice. Okay, now I'm going to find my brush, which I got some hair on it right now. Brush like this. Um, I need to invest in brushes. Um, this is, um, it's, they call it the eye contour. I like to use it because it's perfectly flat nice flat brush to pack on the color I want to pack on from my Kat Von D palette. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use, I think it's Birdcage. That's going to be so different for me, but um, there's Birdcage. It's like a limey green color. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and pack on that and put it on my uh, eyelid. Never used um, this color before, but I really like this palette, so I really thought this would be a perfect time to play with some more of the colors in here. So it goes on really, really nice. Then I'm going to go ahead and work in with, um, it's called Gunner, and it's the one right beside Birdcage. Um, it's like this glitter kind of a thing going on. I'm going to actually, hmm. I'm going to try and think of how I want to work that one in. I'm going to use the Real Techniques Shading Brush. Let me use that. Kind of work with it a little bit. So let's go ahead and go in that gunner. <laughs> Ooh, dear. Let's just hope it doesn't do a lot of glitter. Doing it real light because this the, the her her shadows are very very pigmented. I'm gonna go down this way and then up through just halfway though. I'm not gonna do it the whole way over. I'm just gonna do it a halfway mark. And I'm doing it real light. 
because like I said, you don't need to work heavy handed with that. Oops, sorry. It's actually looking quite nice though. Like I said, it's just something different for me, but it's always good to play. Uh, I mean, like, why not, you know? Kind of gives you an idea if you like the look or not. You know, not every look's going to be something that you're going to like. Okay, I'm going to go back into my go back into my transition color that I was using from the It Cosmetics and kind of just lighten it up a little bit more up there. And then I'll bring it back. And again, I I don't notice any fallout with that. So that's kind of nice. With that shadow. I was a little bit worried about it. I didn't notice any fallout. So that's a good thing. Okay, and then I'm going to tap back into Birdcage, the um, like lime green color again. I'll tap into that a little bit more and place it, of course, onto the eyelid some more. And then go in Gunner just a tad bit, teeny tiny tad bit, not extreme. And go on both sides and kind of just play a little bit. Okay, so there's what we got so far. Now, let's see. Of the eyebrow area, I'm going to use Countess. It looks like it's matte. Uh, beige color. Oops, I'm sorry for the glare. It's called Countess. That's something I hate. You have to keep flipping back and forth with these things. Love this palette, but I hate the flipping back and forth. But there it is, that Countess. I think I might use it on my brow bone area. I'm going to use this brush here from e.l.f. Um, just says eyeshadow brush. It's okay. It's an eyeshadow brush. Um, make sure it doesn't have any stuff on it. <clears throat> Pack that on. I'm going to use this smudge brush from e.l.f. to kind of dab on the inner corner in that. I'm going to go ahead and use, looks like a champagne, oh there's two of them here. I think I'll use Instagram, <laughs> it's like a pinky champagne. Again, that's just not helping, is it? But this Instagram color, it's um, it's a, of a champagne pink color right here. That's what it's called, Instagram. Something I do not have, which, believe it or not, I do not have a phone. I know some people get surprised by that when I tell them I don't have a phone. <laughs> I mean, well, I have a phone, but not a cell phone. But I, I honestly really don't. I never jumped in on it. Uh, I might, possibly at some point, only because um, it's like the most popular thing now to do. Go ahead and go into, um, I don't want to use Gunner because it has glitter on it. Um, this 8-bit, I'm thinking it's like a... Or is that? That's a blue color there. 
I think I'll use 8-bit though. 8-bit looks like a greenish blue color. I'm not sure that's what I'm getting from it or something like that anyway. That's right there. So I guess I will see, but I just thought maybe that would look a little bit more better than putting all that glitter uh, under the eyes. And they're so cute. Don't want to have too much. But I'm going to go ahead and put uh, under um, on the like right below the waterline, like right underneath it. Do a little bit more. I just thought, like I said, this color would work just a little bit better. Because the other one just to me seems like it might be too much. Maybe I can tap into birdcage a little bit for here. You know, like the birdcage color. And kind of mix it in a little bit. That works. So I have it under eyes. I like that like that a lot. Okay, then I'm taking the Mally brush and I'm just going to mix these all like so using the blendy brush from the other end of the Mally brush I had. Mix them around. Just, I guess so there's, as a lot of people say, no harsh lines. Eyeliner I'm going to use is my L'Oreal Paris Lunar Intense Carbon Black. This one here. It's my most favorite. I'm going to put it on top. In the waterline, I think I'm going to use the nude um, <clears throat> or naked or whatever it's called from the Rimmel. I think I'm going to use it. I'm just going to get real close to the lash line area. And then I'm just going to do a quick flick. I'm still learning. And boy, am I learning. Okay, then I'm going to take my Ra uh, Randall <laughs> Scandalize Rimmel um, Eyeliner. It is in Nude. It's this one here. Do that in my inner, inner rim area. And this one's from Tarte. This is from Tarte. It's cashmere, cashmere liner. Black Magic. I'm going to put that in the uh, upper inner area. It seems to work the best. Well, one of the best for me, but I'm going to work it up here. Still learning. And it still tickles sometimes. I'm going to use my Flower Beauty uh, Lash Knockout Volumizing Mascara and my Butterfly Intensa Mascara. We're going to use both of them. So, get that going. And then the rest of my makeup I'll do off camera.
Does anybody else use two mascaras sometimes? I never used to do that, and then now it's like um, I've seen others do it, and I've given it a try, and some work, you know, pretty good together. Uh, some maybe not so well, but, um, you know, I think, yeah, the best way for anything is to experiment, really, because that's the only way you're really going to know if something works. Now I'm going to use my Butterfly Intenza. This one really flickers them out pretty good. I'm definitely going to get this again. I don't even know if I'm going to bother trying any other drugstore ones. Maybe. So I'm going to put the rest of the makeup on, but this is my finished eye look that I have. Can you see the green? I hope so. So I'll be back. Finish up the rest. Alright beauties, so here is the finished look. The... up with. I like it very much. Um, it works great for me. It's crazy. I mean the colors look great for me. So what I ended up using on my face I used my new uh, Master Prime primer. I used that as my primer. Then I used the Fit Me Dewy Smooth Foundation. Used that. Um, for concealer and under the eyes, I only I only used, believe it or not, was the Mally, um, this here, the uh, eye base. I used that as my concealer. And then to uh, set everything, I used the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. And then um, after that, I contoured and did some lighting and contouring with the new Wet n Wild uh, Contouring Palette. This palette here I showed you that I got on my haul. Used that. For my blush, I used the Natural Blush, uh, the Argo and Wear Natural Blush. Been using this quite a bit lately. Used that for my blush. Um, to highlight, I used the Pink Diamond Illuminator from Ulta. Did a little, just a little highlighting, nothing major, major. Um, oh, set under my eyes with the e.l.f. High Definition Eye Setting Powder. Uh, and then I used my Fergie Take on the day mattifying mattifying powder. Used that all over. And this, I don't know the color. <laughs> it's one of the Rimmel Show Off uh, lip lacquers. And I wish I knew the color. I might have to look it up and maybe put it in the down bar if I have to. I'm not sure though, but it's what I have on my lips. Uh, right now it's like a pink tone. I'm just not sure. And um, so uh, I will have the other beauties listed down below. And like I said, Olivia, <clears throat> I would say more she was the one that got this organized than I did. She asked me if I was interested and maybe see about some other girls and other beauties and that. Um, I have messaged uh, quite a few beauties, but not everybody seemed to get them in time um, or just something like that. They didn't see it in time. So... Um, but yeah, uh, 
it gets confusing on the message box, I know, on YouTube. So if any time you guys ever want to get a hold of me, you can message me there or um, the all that beauty at Gmail and uh, maybe email me there if anything. So because um, like I said, I know YouTube can be just kind of, um, you know, like whatever with the message thing. So um, and then uh, I was trying to think of what else there was. There was something else, but I can't even think of it now. But anyway, that was it. I had so much fun. So go ahead and check out the other beauties, um, and go ahead and subscribe to them, show them some love. You might be already subscribed to them, but there's there's quite a few of them, so I will have all the links down below. Um, also, if uh, you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it, and it would help me very much. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would so love to have you, and you can subscribe and join me each week for... I never know how many videos I'm going to put up. I could put up one, two, maybe three, just depending. Um, I try my best not to overdo it, though, because I know sometimes it can it can be an easy thing. You get so used to doing this. but And, um, so, yeah, that is it. So, as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So, until the next time, y'all take care. Have a great weekend. I might see you over this weekend. Um, but if not, y'all take care. Mwah. Until the next time. Bye-bye.